it's 4.45. We're in Perth at Sellers Yard. Combine is all prepped last night. Just quickly checked the oil again this morning and we are off. A uh, smaller day today, 200 miles yet. Yesterday we did 230, today's only around 200. But we, I think we only went through two or three sets of traffic lights yesterday. We're gonna go through a lot more today. And the roads are probably gonna get busier because it's obviously Monday. So let's go. Just found a uh, Zeri on here. Scottish Woodlands. Just been checking the oil. Off we go. Look, oh, oh, we found one. My mum keeps uh, hiding this stuff in every combine we've ever had. Uh, someone's given me a Highland cow as well uh, yesterday, so thanks for that. Oh. There we go. Right, we're ready. A couple people come to wave us off as well. I think it's just Slow getting down. I'm going that quick. It's got that. I think uh, I've just seen a sign somewhere for Crawford, so I think these farm shops around here somewhere. I did visit sick once, but we came off the road, off the dual carriage road before we went into it. I don't know whether you might turn here actually. past the 250 mile barrier I don't know how many hours we've done it in but um, going well and the stunning scenery is still here hope it looks just as good when we get down south just, just on the outskirts of Dunblane I think in fact this is exactly where we are. We're 40 miles off Glasgow and 10 miles outside Dunblane. Not sure if you can see on the camera, but this road is as straight as an arrow. It's like Route 66 or something. Like and then uh, James has got the laptop there, looking at some of the uh, data. We, what we should have done though, when we were on the big hill yesterday, we should have read the, uh, the pressures in the, in the hydro just to see what it was doing. Bar, is it? I'm going downhill, so it's back to 50, 50 bar, the forward, 30 bar in the reverse. We've been going nearly an hour now, so getting through it. Not moved off this road, the A9. The escort vehicle has been behind us all the way. That's the longest we've not had to leapfrog so far. Going up an element now, so it's going up. What's it up to now? 320. That's that line there. Yeah. It's probably going down at 50. Yeah. Bar, that's like what? Times it by 12, do you for BSI? I can't remember. So it's uh, six. Not bad. Uh, we've been going about an hour now and we've just done just short of 26 miles. So um, good road, just been flat out all the way and it's been downhill. Just pulled over a second just to check everything. Everything looks all right. And that, that bin one's empty now. Uh, someone's put a hoover in the bin. All good. We're just, uh, just near Falkirk now. We just have to navigate 
it's massive. You have a lower, a, a narrow bridge and just running along the side of the canal now. Yeah, after that, it's a narrow, but it's okay. So, random houses around here. Look at what the history is of them. Never seen terrace bungalows. Man or two coming towards us with the pallet forks in the air. Like a building spec. Farmer driving around with a pallet course, I like would you? Look how you know he's been on more telly on the courses than anyone. Anyway, so <laughs> you know, there's no way to our left there. Not Richard Long there, that bailer on, is it? <laughs> no. Massive Fergie. Some people get over and some don't. Yeah. We're just outside of, where are we? Just outside of Glasgow, 20 miles south of Glasgow, maybe? Lanark, Lanark, Lanark. Lanark, so we just pulled over now, just uh, stretching our legs. Uh, gonna swap drivers around a bit. And uh, next stop is Lockerbie to meet Sirtas to refuel. Hey. <laughs> Here. They must, we just stopped as well for 10 minutes, so they've, uh, they've probably been wondering what we're doing. Hey, got the sign out. More out there with the sign, 100%. Yay. Does anyone know what all their buildings are? Because there's loads of them. James is driving now, we've just spotted some random roadworks. We're not sure what he's go doing. On, on. He's not. No one seems to have a lollipop. There we go, we're there away. Oh, no, there's his lollipop. He needs to get some uh, walkie talkies from Agricom. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, I get, I get some of these, mate. There's a number. You're watching later when your mates have all tagged you in it. I know we can't use that motorway, but this is a good road. Oh, this is where we had to wait, isn't it? When there was yeah. the accident, and we were we were there, weren't we, on the way up? And you can see all the cars coming down here. Remember? Because yeah. there's a, a wagon that like lost a tire down there. You can't see the turbines in the mist, are they? Can you? Oh, there you go. Middle York wind farm. View up here must be high up, especially if there's them turbines. It's like we're on a road to nowhere. We're on a road to nowhere. This road that runs along the side of the motorway is absolutely dead. So we've basically been flat out and made so much time. We're going to stop and get a nice photograph with that stunning backdrop of the hills. Just got the tripod to set up so we can get a picture of everyone. Someone's just turned up to take one for us. Oh, you can go a bit closer there, like that. This wagon, it looked like it broke down because it was part of when we got to it. Anyway, kind of catching the mirrors now on the trees. The road's not particularly narrow, it's just... Do you want to pull them to the side? Or? It, just, it just pulled up before we got to him. Right, go on through that now. Problem is now we have to swing the back end of the combine into the trees to get out of the verge. There we go, we're through now. I just need to get all the green flies off me and out my neck. Floor it and see what we get on the speed. 23, 24. You think the combine's big until you see a view like that, and then you realise that nature is massive. What would be really cool now if they like flew, flew a few fighter planes through that valley as a bit of a fly past. 
They've got a good view living there, haven't they? What are them trees supposed to be in the shape of there, do you think? We're just nearly, I don't know, 20 mile off Penrith, sorry, Lockerbie to refuel. And according to the stats on the computer, we've just about to clock 100 miles in four hours, 50 minutes, which isn't bad going, is it really? There's a load of forestry going on here now. You see we've planted a load more trees. We leave the stumps behind, don't we? There we go, 100 mile. Woo! Halfway today, and we've done it by pretty much just after 10 o'clock. There's a bit of a bird's eye view of what's going on. We're just heading now. We're about 15 mile off Lockerbie, where we're going to meet the fuel truck. Also tomorrow, because we can got an accurate way of predicting where we're going to be, we're probably going to be at Morris Caulfields at Bentham around between 12 and half one. Obviously, depends on traffic. So uh, they're going to they're going to put a bit of food on. So if any customers or whatever want to come up there, that's where we'll be. We've just missed the road sign, but it's Dumfries and Galloway. So this is the last county I think we'll be travelling through in Scotland. Good feel the barley there. Hopefully, we're on this bend. We might see where we're going to rendezvous with the fuel truck. Oh no, you can't. Too many trees, empty log wagons coming past us as well. So we're getting very close now to where we need to be. This is the, one of the timber yards. Following this high up now in so we don't end up at the wrong place. Some lovely colours there in the trees. I'll film them because it's my mum's favourite tree, copper beech tree. This guy here is going to sign out 90%. Whee! We are arriving at Jenkinson's power station. They've uh, coned it off for us over there, so we're meeting the Certus fuel truck to fill up with more HVO. We'll see if we can scare them with the horn. People, people lie on the video. Gotta get him, so what we'll do is we'll film the reaction when I flip this switch. <laughs> Wasn't as much a reaction as I thought, to be honest. So we're just, I keep saying just, don't I? We are in Jenkinson's yard now. Certus are here with the renewable fuel. I'm gonna fill it up. We've only actually used 50%, so that's pretty good considering we've done. Uh, 350 odd mile I think 355 mile on half a tank pretty good going that really wonder where everyone was going that was a teddy bear's tea party <laughs> oh is that custard pie or quiche oh, quiche. quiche I need Charlotte with me to eat all that you're not getting in me no I don't, I don't think I suit that you're, gonna, you're not going to yeah, get it get so I'm getting it we'll get your picture Look at that all high vised up. You're still doing that thing, aren't you? If first orders get 20, is it 20 quid off the first order? Yeah, if we quote Ollie. If we quote Ollie, there you go. So if you've never used Certas before, give them a ring. Shameless plug, because they've sponsored the fuel. So we've just put 600 litres in it, well, 598. So that's not bad. So it actually, basically it only used half a tank in 350 miles. Confused look on John's face because I've got a key for the car and he doesn't know, and I keep locking it and unlocking it. <laughs> Fueled up now, leaving AW Jenkinson. Big thanks to them, they even got the flags out for us and the buffet and the alfresco patio set. So, next stop now, we're going to call in because we're passing him a mint. Plenty of time. I'm going to call them at Rickabees at Carlisle and then head on to Rickabees at Carnforth, which are class dealers. So we're just pulling out now onto the, the road, which apparently is called Service Road. And apparently there's a Silas team as well up here working that we're going to try and get a video off with a Unimog and a fast track. 
It's day two of the Combine Challenge. I'm sat in with Martin. Martin's, Hi. Martin is going to do a little bit of singing, cab karaoke. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Place I belong. West Virginia. Near to Hereford. Mountain High. <laughs> Take, me, Take home. me home. Country roads. That's He's like singing series. I'm guessing that that is the Lake District in front of us. And of course, a sprinter van. Didn't get my camera out in time, but we even had the environment agency guy working for them waving at us then. The tanker driver here just uh, unloaded and pretty tight. That mirror folded. Um, it's alright, yeah. What's the gap? 3.6. 3.6. We've got the mirror though, haven't we? Let's go steady. Let's go steady. Got an inch this way. You got two inch this side. Send your ass out there. All right. Hey, that side, yeah. Yeah, good, yeah. Got a foot. Eight inch this way. Wow. Got eight inch here. Go up, go up, go up. Or dead straight now. All right. All right. All right. All right. Perfect. And you're pretty much through here. We're not within an inch on a big job, are we? Cool. So Amanda from McVeigh Park, I know this guy up here, Paul Davidson. So he's come out with his silage team to wave us on. So we're just getting near him now. So we're just going to slow down to, to 10 mile an hour as we go past. So that they can get a proper look and we can get a proper look at their tractors. There's quite a few of them. Three classes I can see from here. Uh, looks smart on that grass page, don't we? Oh, we may as well. Are we going to stop and say hello? We may as well, mightn't we, for a minute or so. We've got some kids with them, haven't they? See you later! Dedication, that! You're all 80% then, yeah? <laughs> That wasn't who we thought it was, that was just another group of people around this area, another group of farmers that had all come out and uh, made the effort which was amazing and they'd even made a huge sign. Drone! This guy's got a drone out. There you go, some people here on a pickup. Another view and a half that. Mountains over there. Go straight on. Was that yellow, definitely a yellow, yellow car? car? I think that was a yellow car, yeah. Looking at that road sign, we're going to go past another mill. We'll have to mark that on the window as well. Big mill over there. We're seeing 13 now. Yellow cars is by far winning. There you go, an actual wheel at this mill. Didn't look wet though, no water on it. This is it, Paul Davidson. 
So he's got a big fast track. We've got another forage to put on the list as well. Um, and he's washed his Unimog specially for us. Is that a big rake over there as well? And a uh, Richard West the Silas trailer. Oh, the foragers to go on the list there. This is Gretna Green, so if anyone fancies getting married, we are here. Big hotel though. People come on a coach that's trip. That's the place. There you go, the famous blacksmith shop in Gretna Green. Ooh, tank looked like it was going to T-bone us then. So that is Scotland completed, we are back in England now. Into beautiful Cumbria with a barley looks like it cut in a few weeks. Oops, some old machinery there. It's a really lovely garden that isn't it? Do you reckon because they're right on the border they've got to like set the standard. Just crossing the river Esk, I think we are. In Cumbria. Guy there. It's petrol getting cheaper on here, I can't remember what it was before. Has everyone got a Unimog round here? Are we getting stalked here? <laughs> 19 plate, one a beast. You can't see people's smiles because they're all holding phones up. We're now right in the centre of Carlisle, getting escorted in by the Rickabees van. Martin should try not to put the chopper through the traffic lights. Uh, it's a little bit tight through here. We didn't actually need to come through here, but we're gonna go and stop for a brew and take some pictures while we're there. But it's a bit, it's a little bit busy, but it's kind of a one-way system, so it's not too bad. Should have stopped here and got a picture, shouldn't we? Awesome. Someone take a picture out the window. Right. We now have arrived at Rickaby's in Carlisle. Some people waving as well. Can't see anyone's face again because we've got a phone in front of it. I think they want us to park on the grass, I think. So we don't know whether you want to back on or whatever. Got a vulture in. Ooh, you just knocked the light down. Oh, no way. It's not their light over. Might not let us hear again. <laughs> <laughs> that sign just fainted. That light. Let's just, just not tell him. <laughs> just <wait. Anything. laughs> that light just fainted. <laughs> yeah, it just got. It just couldn't believe what it had seen. Yeah, so we drove in, and that light, as we drove past it, just fainted. Looks good on the grass, though, doesn't it? Just knock the light down. Oh, no way. There's another spray area yeah, coming in. Sale, Is there? Watch that light! <laughs> this shop's massive. All right, John. Let's go into accounts and get our brew. Victorian, have you? How many Victorian? One or two. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit of a. Early days was challenging, but we sold one or two levers. Is that a new one getting PDI'd, is it? Forager as well. Tracks look the same as ours. It's a robotic mower. I think it's actually remote controlled, I think, isn't it? You drive it off a joystick. The combine here getting ready for service. Another one, there's loads everywhere. Another two choppers. So that's three choppers and three combines. And then there's another combine in here, is there? Yeah. As we, as we, we've all got a dent on the back of the auger. Is that from coming through that gate? Well, that light jumps out at you. A David Brown 2D. Quality.
Gonna get that in the museum up at. Um, would that have come out of Meltham? Yeah, it would have done, I think. Uh, they swap stuff round and put stuff in the museum for a few weeks so you could take it up for a few yeah, months. A job. That's a beach, that one, isn't it? It's tidy, it's an 18 play, that's tidy, that, isn't it? We've got far beasts, you're on bigger tyres, don't they? Is that the same as ours, that one? Looks to be brand new. 5.3 Evolution, I think it is actually. Probably like the sister one to ours. We've already counted that chopper, so we won't count that one again. There's plenty of stock in. A lot of um, dribble bars as well. A lot of Fleming equipment. Gliding drills. We've assessed the damage at Rickaby's now that for the auger, and then we're just going to set off now on our way to the next depot. A few people here come to see us. Leaving Rickaby's now. And Passing an eight, eight, five, six. XL. Oh, move that so you can see better. Amazing view again, still. Britain is pretty spectacular at this time of year. Nice load of barley straw there going past. Someone's got cut in early. Big excavation job going on there. Must be putting a new shed up or something, or a, maybe a silage clip or something. It's a beast that digger. Just on the A6 now, not far from Shap. Yeah. Right, go, 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 go. Yeah. We're just at Penrith now. Come, uh, Jenkins's other yard is over there where we fueled up before. They, they obviously have a yard at Penrith and one at Lockerbie. But look at that for a view. It'd be amazing if it wasn't for the fact there's a motorway there. This. Not far from where Charlotte lives. It's the halfway point now. I'm going to flick the camera. This. Sorry about the wind. Absolutely stunning, and that is why we are stood on the top of the combine. The halfway point we've bumped into this guy, some of you might recognise him. Give yourself a plug. How are we doing? I'm Ollie's Digger Diary. I fix diggers in Cumbria and the borders, and I've raced up to see Ollie doing his fantastic job with his uh, combine. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check him out. Check him out as well. <laughs> we've bumped into another Ollie as well on the top of the of Shap, which is halfway. Go on, get your leg over. <laughs> now, is this going to work now? That's good fencing, that. We need to find out what that fence is to take Martin's weight. We've just left, obviously, the middle heading back down the valley. The scenery is getting better. Not as many trees though as there was in Scotland. That is absolutely stunning. Charlotte's video in. In Kendall now, cutting through. Looks amazing. Flooded once here, didn't it? It was rather wet, yes. We didn't have a carpet. We're now at Rickaby's in Carnforth. We didn't realise that James was here as a surprise when I pulled up. 
with Granny and Grandad that we didn't think it was this far today. We thought it was only 200 miles, but it wasn't. It was 218. So that's why a bit later than we first anticipated. But we are over halfway in less than two days. Everything is working perfectly. We're going to tout the tracks now. We've only tout them once today and they're just ready to be done again. So we're quite happy with how everything's going. But I'm going to end the video now and then I'll see you all tomorrow. One last thing. Then we've kind of done that, haven't we? That's supposed to be a tick. Next stop, Lancashire. That was fine. Are they, are they bang on or have you moved them a little bit? We're obviously in the Cotswolds at Henson's. You might recognise this guy. He's been on, um, been on TV a few times. Been on TV a few times. Yeah.